Hello, uh, my name is Takeshi Hakamada, founder and CEO of iSpace. I'd like to talk about today, uh, today about uh, space and challenge. So first challenge for us is first uh, lunar, private lunar exploration mission. We are running a team Hakto, which is the front runner of the private lunar exploration mission in the world. Most of us, you probably think that the space development has been done by only nations. However, our project is completely private effort. This project is supported by many of the large Japanese companies like KDDI AU, the IHI, Japan Airlines, Suzuki, Zoff, Recruit, and Semedyne. We are, uh, well, uh, going to do this mission using these rovers uh, presented here. And uh, we, I belong, I belong uh, our own current model with me. I suppose this rover is going to move sometime soon. And this rover, oh, this rover is very small. It's just four kilograms of mass. And then um, the, the importance of the mass is that we have to bring this in, into space and land on the moon. However, launching cost is very expensive. And the launching cost is uh, controlled by the amount of mass. So reducing a mass is uh, leads to the reducing the cost. And uh, as a private effort, we can do this mission. Okay. So we are competing for Guna X Prize for this first mission. Guna X Prize is a global competition of lunar exploration. The mission is to first is land, on, land a robot on the moon. And then second is travel more than 500 meters on the moon, and then transmit HD videos back to the Earth. And that line is end of 2017, this year. So uh, in this competition, uh, we are competing uh, with other four finalists. Other than us, uh, there is Indian team and Israel from Israel and the United States and the international teams. We are aiming to launch this rover with Indian teams by end of this year. And then uh, we are going to win this prize too. For us, this Hakto project is just a first step. We have large vision that expand our planet, expand our future. Obviously, planet doesn't expand itself. However, we have a message here that we want to expand the sphere of our living. And then uh, we are aiming to create a new era where human beings can live in space. In order to create a, such a world, we think that economy is necessary in space. And then in order to open economy in space, space resource mining, space resource utilization is the key. This picture, this image is, was taken from Google Earth application. This shows more than 10,000 satellites around the Earth operating right now. Uh, as you can see, it's a very huge uh, well, in infrastructure in space. And it's growing even now. So we have to think about how to sustain this space inf infra infrastructure in future. In order to sustain such a huge infrastructure, there is a tangible 
needs for space resources will be appeared in the next decade, especially water on the moon. Why water? Water is going to be deposited, divided into oxygen and hydrogen, and it become a fuel for rocket, spacecraft, or satellite. So the water is very important resources in space in future. There is outstanding economic value if you bring water from the, from the moon. The transportation cost is one tenth, uh, sorry, one hundredth of different from the Earth compared to the Earth. So, in order to create such a uh, well, space utilization industry, I think that commercialization is a key. The government are promoting the commercial business recently, and the space resource industry will be a major driver of the future growth of the space industry. In order regarding the space resource industry, uh, well, uh, registration is one of the key. Who is, what, who is the owner of the re resources? So the lucky, uh, good news is that uh, recently the registration of the commercial space mining is speeding up globally, and the government of Japan also declared support for space resource industry. And uh, this week, I had a speech at National uh, uh, United Nations, and uh, I talked about the importance of uh, space resources in future. Technology is also changing. Commercial space technology is speeding up due to disruptive technology of COTS. COTS means commercial off-the-shelf uh, electronics and software technology, too. And also, Moon is a focus of the nation and commercial missions in the next decade. There's many nations start planning about uh, lunar exploration and lunar development in the next decade. Even the commercial companies like SpaceX and Blue Origins. iSpace will implement step by step by controlling disk. We start from Google Lunar Prize and the here, first step, we're going to validate this micro-robot technology. And once we validate it, we are moving to the next phase. We are going to send tens or hundreds of these small rovers on the moon and then try to map use useful resources on the moon, including water. And once we fi find uh, valuable resources on the moon, we move to the next step and then we actually try to utilize our resources. The first private lunar mission is very challenging, not mentioned to the uh, space mining business. This is my philosophy, 5% to 95%. Most of people is going to do something, uh, there is over 90% success rate. Most of the Japanese do, especially. However, I think that if there is a chance of 5% or even 1%, you can put effort to increase the success rate up to 90%, 95%. I think this is real job. So I try to uh, create a path to increase the possibility to 95%. 95%. And now I made this Hakto project 95% almost. And then now I like to invite you to involve this project too. 
to make it 100% successful. We just started crowdfunding campaign last month, and uh, here is a chance, opportunity for everyone to involve this project. Uh, this project, this crowdfunding campaign is uh, well uh, conducted through the uh, airport uh, crowdfunding system uh, run, uh, operated by Asahi Simbun. So please pick up your s smartphone and then search airport on your web browser. And then please uh, select whatever the uh, li uh, rewards you want to have. By the way, one of the rewards is this rover. This uh, prototype, uh, ground prototype of the final flight model is also listed as a reward. It's cost about uh, $100,000, but it's probably worth to pay it. So, so uh, last one step with us. Thank you very much.